Two weeks ago, the Ministry of Education released a circular where it was compelling all heads of private schools and institutions of learning to pay salaries to their teaching staff. Now this was based on the idea that since the school term had only run for five weeks, this school still had money that had been paid by parents for school fees. However, according to Mary Luavla Lucy, the head teacher of a private secondary school, this is not the case. Our schools right now, we negotiate with the parents and they pay in installments. Many of our parents cannot afford to pay full school fees. We get the school fees, we spend on utilities, we pay the workers, the licenses, local tax and so on, billboards. We pay a lot of money, so we, we are unable to keep sums of money on our accounts. With the schools now shut down, this head teacher says that she's not in position to pay any more salaries. We had cleared February, March was not cleared, but our schools managed to get the little money that we had on the account to pay for March. But we are very sorry, our teachers do not have salary up to now. The private teachers union is wholly in support of what this head teacher says. They say that it's now up to government to step up and support the private learning institutions as they deal with the COVID-19 pandemic. The government at this time must come out very soundly to provide support to private schools to be able to continue with their work. And this support we are asking it in the form of teacher secondment. We want to see the government paying 50% of teachers' salaries in private schools, and then we expect the other 50% to be paid by the schools. We in private schools, we think we must be part of, the, part of those people planning for what is coming ahead. The Ministry of Education has not responded to this query. However, we have been informed that there are still ongoing negotiations with the various education stakeholders to see how best to proceed with the reopening of all learning institutions as the country slowly emerges from the COVID-19 lockdown. Joyce Nakato, NTV, tonight.